and uh, this is a beautiful Monday, you would say that Mondays are beautiful. Well, they are beautiful if, if we are working on what we're doing. And uh, I hope that you have the time and enjoy the moment with us, because this is going to be magical. And, or, or at least I've tried my best to do it magical for you. Uh, so, what we're gonna do today is to... We're going to set more elements on our scene. Our plan is to have something really playable for the end of the week, at least for this uh, for this demo. And, um, and yeah, so we're going to add more and more elements here, <coughs> so we can uh, so we can play the, the game. So first, I am going to remove. I think I will remove this one because I don't need it. So uh, yeah. Let me remove this one. This won't be needed. And now I'll go into the rest of the scene, as you can see here. We'll try to move these things to one side to have as, as much as much a space as possible. Okay, cool. So we have this platform. This platform has to go on till the end of this scene, so. Let me make it uh, a bit larger. This is gonna be like that. Good, and this point, perfect. And uh, the same for this one. So let's go long here. And uh, let me see, this is W, and I think we're going to this point. But I'm going to confirm in any case and let you know. So, uh -huh. these things, these platforms, on the other hand, they need to be moved to the other side, which is like, we'll say that it's some place like around here. As you can see, we created this beautiful scene. <coughs> and what I'm doing right now is to set where are going to be the colliders, so that you can jump uh, on them. And uh, yeah, that's that's the plan right now. So I think this will be like on this position. Oh, in fact, it's gonna be like more down. Yeah, it's gonna be like on this position, good. So let me check this one. This one will be on the top and this one will be on down. Okay, good, good, good. Now I'm going to fix things. And what is this? Oh, this is another platform. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I see what, I'm, what I was planning to do with this one. Uh, I think that was planning to make a collider with, uh, with these two blocks. Let's see. I, I think I will decide that later because, and make this perfect so it's gonna let me retreat it a bit and put in here I think here is gonna be a good point good excellent and um, okay let me set this one expand it let's expand it. oh I am missing something here I'm not seeing it let me check yeah now I have it good and let me expand this one as well, like that. I think it's gonna cover the entire scene. It seems like it's going to cover the entire scene, something like that. Yeah, good. And uh, now a bit down as well. And now expand it to the sides. I think this could be something like around here. So let me go down. Okay, I think just uh bit small just uh, you know tiny thing mm -hmm. I think it's too much okay 
Yeah, that could work. And uh, the other thing, let me see. Yeah, that could work. It's gonna be like around here. Beat down. Good. Excellent. Yeah, here. Yeah, it here is too big. So what I'm going to do is go to the inspector. Now let me reduce. Oh, uh, no, that I shouldn't have done that because you can't see that. So let me see. It's gonna be like around here. Good. And uh, yeah, the scale on Y about. Let me reduce it. Yeah, it's not a big difference. Okay. Uh, wait. Am I doing this one? Correct. I'm doing the right one. So let me do three, three. Yeah, I think three, two is the one that I'm going to use. Let me check the other side. Yeah, three, two is going to be just perfect. So let's save. And um, okay, a couple of fixings I got to do here. For example, this one is not going to be like that one. It's going to be like, okay, I'm going to, let me move this one here. And the one on the top, this one is going to be expanded like here. Okay, let me put it on like this point. Fantastic. This one as well is going to be expanded down. So like that. Good. Covering onto the bottom. Good. Oh, by the way, these are going all to be surfaces. So I forgot to change them. So yeah, surfaces and surface. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take all these guys and all that, all those are going to be surface. That's it. I think it's gonna be easier that way. And uh, okay, so we have the, uh, this guy's going to jump over here. Then this one is going to be as well on the bottom. Let me expand it a bit uh, vertically like around here good and then move in here okay cool there you are and move in a bit down yeah cool fantastic uh this one well this one first is going to be okay let me expand that one as well okay you can pass on this and this is a bit too large, so let me compress it. And uh, and enlarge on a uh, vertical. I think that's going to be the number, and then set it on the right position, which will be here. And uh, okay, let's go to the others. Okay, this one, for example, this one, okay, this one I have here, it's gonna be perfect for this on the bottom. So I'm gonna leave it here. Good. And uh, I think I can create kind of a block for this section, well, this complete section. So what I'm going to do is to Show me the block. Oh no, you're too far away to use it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna rotate this one and put it on zero. Good, and uh, let me expand this block. Like, yeah, here. And I'm gonna put it on this, on this position, perfect. So now you can you can jump all this. Fantastic. 
and uh, okay now we need uh, kind of the same but for the other side so come and copy come and B and I'm going to rotate this one to um, instead of 45 it's gonna be instead of minus 45 sorry it's going to be 45 and then let me get this one Okay, go left, good, and of course expand it as well. Okay, good. Uh, I think that's gonna be pretty good for our needs. And uh, another of this one, comma copy, comma D. Please stay here. Degrees are going to be zero. Oh no, it's gonna be uh, 90 good and that's going to be for the platform on the bottom good so let me move it a bit good excellent and now a couple more platforms which are going to be this and this one so command D sorry command D now let me reduce the size okay and uh, let me move it in case it's a bit too thick so let me reduce the size on y and amplify the size on horizontally good here we got one come and copy command b and here is the second one it's great Fantastic. So with this, I think I have the entire scene, but of course I have to test it. So let's test it. The last time we finished this, it was on this section. So what I'm going to do is because this, uh, because this, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this engine uh, with the asset that we have right now allows me to do it. It's I am going to come on, dude. Okay. What I'm going to do is to change the uh, starting position. So level starting points, here they are. So let me uh, find the one that I have right now. Okay, good. And uh, I'm going to change it. So I'm going to say, uh, come on D, please. And then you're going to move to... Oh, you're going to move to... I'm going to move here. This is going to be the new starting point. So I'm going to disable this one. Okay, so I'm going to say, uh, boom, after dots. Good. So I can have like a reference of where the, in the game I'm going to be. So let's play the game. Okay, here I am in the dots. Now I get to see if I can climb here first. Yeah, I can. Oh, I noticed something. Yeah, no, that's totally perfect. Let me check. Okay, I can come here, which is good. That could be something interesting I can make this guy to do. So now I am here, okay. This is one thing I don't like in terms of the camera position because it is too centered. I need to move it a bit down on this section. So let's see, let's see. I wanna try something different. So first I am going to update what it did. Updates on all platforms and I'm gonna say not tested yet <clears throat> I'm gonna publish this this is my way to keep um, let's say a log and a backup of everything that I do on unity so if I make a, an error I can go, I can go back and, and fix anything
but you know first I'm going to be before uh, fixing about the camera I'm going to move all around the, the level so we have the first on the top let me check I can go up 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 okay perfect and now let me round yeah, this is good this is where you're gonna get a lot a lot of enemies This is the thing I have to check about the colliders. Okay, so let me see. Okay, I can go up. Fantastic. Let me check. Perfect. Yeah, so the camera is too centered. Uh, okay, I have to check this section and go down. Perfect. Let me check. I can go up. Fantastic. And then go down. Take this thing. Let me check. I can jump here good now I can go back here and jump in fantastic and here and here and great I can go in that direction and yeah this is awesome this is really really awesome mm -hmm. cool so uh, first things first, oh the camera, so the camera, I feel that the camera is too centered, so I am going to play with it and trying to find a position that could be not so centered, <coughs> but moving to the other position, so let's see, first I am going to move my screen to the other side, so you can see what I'm, what I'm trying to to change here. Uh, so as I mentioned to you, I was using an asset, which is called the as uh, for the asset, uh, the Corgi. You can find it on the oh, sorry on the YouTube um, on the asset store of Unity, and uh, yeah, it's not cheap, but I think it's a great asset. One that once you have certain experience in Unity. Uh, you could purchase it so you can create uh, many functionalities really fast but at the end of course you have to twitch with some things that it's not for a beginner's level to be honest but um, but many of the things you will be able to to do it so I really recommend that and um, and the support is, is awesome uh, is is Renault and uh, yeah the guy is always you know, answering your questions, which I think is is fantastic if you are going to purchase an asset. So uh, I was talking about the camera. So let's see. Uh, okay, to the inspector, and now I'm going to I'm going to reduce this a bit, so I can have more space on my cam on on the settings. Oh come on, dude! Okay, here. Good. Uh, so here is the near and far. Uh, this is another thing I have to definitely I have to I have to play with that and um, okay so but there's got to be something related oh here it is okay the Y let me check the Y let me open the Y up oh there you go this looks more like the value I would like to have on this game <clears throat> but one thing that that could be interesting here is that I can change dynamically uh, these values so let me let me try this level with 6.3 so yeah so I'm coming here and I say okay here I am 6.3 it's great and then I'm going down it's one thing I have to check because
Okay, um, I feel like when I'm in this level, everything's looking good because I am kind of in the center of it. But if I go up, it is like too much. So let me see if I can lower the value just to, let's say six instead of, of 6.3. Okay, so let me go here. So I am here. Yeah, I can see what is on the bottom. Okay. Okay, for example, for this section, six, this value, it's literally perfect. Perfect. And absolute perfect. <clears throat> Let me see if I change the value quickly. Yeah. Oh, that's that's nice. That's nice. Because what I'm realizing is that I can change in code. I can change in code uh, when a guy is going to one direction or other. So that can work. I'm going to take note of the different values I can use. So on the... Um, I'm gonna say on the hallway. Okay, on the hallway. Okay. The value should be a camera uh, X, Y, and Z. So um, it's going to be on the hallway, it's going to be uh, five, six, zero. But that's on the hallway. If I go before the hallway, let me go back here. Okay. For example, in the floor here, I should have something more like a, probably like a seven. Yeah, or an eight. No, <laughs> 78, no. Eight. Yeah, that, that could help. So uh, I'm going to say this is the hallway. Okay, and in the other, in the previous, is going to be five eight Z. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna say it like that. Uh, okay, plus one is going to be five eight on the on the plus one up is going to be. Aha. Aha. Hallway. I'm taking notes of the values that I'm going to use in any case. So in this one, in the hallway is going to be 5, 6. On the position 1, but on the top, which means that he's going to, let's say he's going to jump here. Uh, it doesn't give me any information to look on this position. So I got to look down. And to look down, it's going to be, let's say, zero. In fact, zero, it's not enough. It's going to be minus two. Minus two, I think is definitely the value. Yeah. So it's going to be minus two. So it's going to be uh, five minus two. Good. The other thing I have to do is to find a way to change the camera offset if uh, if I want to um, if I want to if I turned I wish to change the camera the direction of the camera so good uh, let's continue and let's test the rest so we say we get here and here's gonna be five six Perfect, yes, because I have to see the limits of this, which is this one and this one. In fact, if I get here, I don't want the camera. I want the camera, in fact, to move if I stay, I mean, move vertically. So let me see if I can say
there is another thing I can I can do. thinking about following me on this one is not going to be necessary. No effects in the set policy and the effects. Camera goes back to the player. Okay. Horizontal distance. Okay. This is the manual up and down. Okay, these are the clipping planes, it's not necessary. Okay, let me check. Important. Okay, I'm for the moment I'm going to follow to the rest of this. One thinking is like to have a limit for the camera to follow me on that section. Okay, here, here I have again to change. Uh, okay, okay, flat top. Okay, once you get here, this should change to. Check the camera. I think it will be like minus two again. Where is the, the camera position? Uh -huh, camera controller, Y is gonna be minus two. Let me check. Yeah, minus two is gonna be the number. That's the number. So you can go, so you can see down. Okay, you can see minus minus one could be good. Okay, so it's gonna be five minus one. Then we are going down. Again, five minus one, we keep it that way. And then we come in here. Five minus one is going to be perfect. Okay, and in the last section, I will say that's gonna be until this. Okay, last platform. Here it will be something like, I will say maybe two. Yeah, three. Three is gonna be perfect. So in here is gonna be five and three. Always the five position because we're looking on that way. But if I want to see the other section is going to be it's going to be zero. Okay. 
Okay. This one is going to be zero. You know, that's interesting. The zero position is something that's really interesting. I'm gonna start again and I'm going to set the zero position. why he can't climb to one side. I oh, know, yeah, he can't climb. I thought he can't. It is that I'm not good enough on this one. Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, you can. I think it's about the t my timing. Yeah, I get to check why it's not. No, he can. He can. What he can is like a change in the direction. But yeah, definitely we got to check that one. Okay, cool. So, uh, thanks. Yeah, it's gonna fight. This is gonna try with the with the zero displacement on X. Should do this one. Okay, and see. Soon, correct? Yeah. What if we got the zoom to 12? And I say the minimum is going to be 12 as well. Interesting change. I definitely have to test it with the with the older uh, the, with the older guys and see how it's going to look. So good. Um, I'm gonna play with the cameras later. What I think is that's going to work. All right, guys. So now we're going to a really important next step, which will be start adding the characters. So I'm gonna check if my colleagues had sent me something else, or something new about characters. So, so far I don't have anything. And we are going then to, to the characters. So let me go here to the pixel art. And Basaltapis. Uh, Okay, super trooper. Okay, this is the fly ball. Let me check the how oh, this is the CB trooper flying. This is the CB troop. I don't remember. 
me check this one. Okay, this this was one of the originals. Good. Um, okay, this is one of the flying troopers. Uh, CP trooper to red. Let me check the details. Okay, here we have some details of this one. And um, that I'm preparing right now. I had to prepare, might have to prepare a new one. But yeah, I think these guys are going to work for the moment. Let's say that I want to export just, uh, let's see, I want to export just the red one. Let me see what happened if I can do that. So ex uh, export sprite sheet, good, and uh, split by text. That would be really nice to. Oh no no, split by text. Oh yeah, good 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 yeah, split by text, absolutely. Yeah, excellent. So I can have the sequence of all of them. And then, um, yeah, open on a sprite sheet. Here I got it. And now the last thing I need is the size, which was 6464, beautiful. So I'm going to export this. Um, yeah red uh-huh and I'm going to say sorry I'm going to say that with this 64 64 red CB trooper 4 red and uh, yeah it's gonna be a sprite sheet we all know that and uh, export and now I should have it here I guess CB trooper let me check oh there they are oh I made a mistake uh, I, I put the background so yeah I can't not bring the background so let me do this again and the background remove the background thank you very much and uh, in fact, I wish to remove the background on everyone. Well, the others are disabled right now. So export sprite sheet and uh, yeah, split levels, export. And now export to PNG and uh, red. And it's going to be, sorry, uh, 64, 64. Remove this one and export there we have it let's go to the next one the next one will be the uh, bluish and again with the bluish i am going to disable the background and uh, file export sprite sheet uh, split on tags fantastic and export and then here is going to be uh, export the sprite sheet uh, sorry export to PNG and this one it's I'm gonna say is the three uh, yeah three flying 
and again 64x64 export we have it so we have these two let's go to the next one which will be the flying one oh but, but the flying one i think i have a new version which is cooler so i'm going to find that one and on this yeah this one looks much better so i am going to take this one and uh, remove the background again and now i'm going to say okay file mm. Export a sprite. There's one thing I'm missing here. Yeah, there's an error that I'm having on this one at least. Let me check if I have it. No, on the first one, no problem. On the blueish, no problem. But on this one, it's going to be a problem because. As you can see, there is a space here on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is to create Yeah, I'm going to create um, a copy. Uh, let's say this one is going to be yellow. Okay. And uh, I'm going to cut this small part here. Or I can do something better. I can move top um, I can move top one and move the bottom one let's see oh no okay I'm going to move the top the bottom minus one minus two okay and now the proportions are 64 64 good perfect perfect this is the one i need so i'm going to export this sprite and uh yes yeah, split as it should be and now to export to png and the jello yeah good and the same one okay 64 64. That's a good thing of having both at the same, uh, having all at the same size. And uh, okay, let me check. So we have this one, this guy, this guy. Okay, I missed one, the, which is the like the ball, the floating ball. Mm -mm -mm. But I leave it around here. Is this one? Yeah, is this one? Yeah, I create uh, some other details on on this on this design that now they are here. Good. So uh, background out, and I think on this one, yeah, it never moves. Okay, this is okay. So the lower is gonna be is on this position. So let me reduce this size, and the higher. Good, okay. Okay, and the higher is gonna be is on here. So let me see this one going down. Okay, and let me try it. Good. Two, same thing and shot is the same one good 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 so now okay shot shows me 
the, the. Okay, this is the further is going to be on the back. Uh huh. And the front, it seems like it's going to be. Yeah, it's gonna be here. So we're gonna close it here. So I have the exact size that I need for everything. So the more you can save on the on the files, the better, guys. So export sprite sheet. Uh, yeah, by layers. So I have them all. Export and now export to PNG. So the fly ball. <laughs> I like that that name. And it's gonna be. Uh, oh, what is the size? Forgot the size. Okay, I'm going to export it like that and I'm going to say, I'm going to ask right now what is the size. So it's 6147. Okay. So here's going to be 6147. Okay, cool. Excellent. So uh, let's continue here. And uh, yeah, now I have them all, I think. Yep. There is an update that uh, my friend Mike is going to do for the red one. We're waiting for that one, Mike. And um, because he created really a better art at the end. But for the moment, I can use this red one. And then we just, the, the process is really simple. I just remove that uh, that uh, sprite sheet for the next one and voila that's it that's the only thing we, we're going to need so um good i think we have many of the things that we need and uh now we can go back to unity and um yeah and start making the, the rest of the animations so okay so there's a couple of things i wish to do right now guys one is to inform inform everybody what we're doing which i think is uh really cool to be honest and uh and then i'm going to i'm going to prepare me a coffee because it's kind of cold here i need to be a bit oh sorry <coughs> need to be a bit yeah need to fit more more to feel more hot or the heater what's happening with the heater okay and uh, let me check here Okay, so as I was telling you, oh my cup got a scratch. Um, I am going to um, I'm going to take a lick and uh, to do wash to the to change to prepare me a coffee because I'm kind of cold right now. I cold. What the heck is happening? I'm kind of uh, cold right now, but I will come back to finish this uh, this part of the of the of this um of these levels now adding more um ai characters that you are going to uh confront see you right now give me just a second 